Hello everyone, so today I have six super cute cottagecore inspired hairstyles for the fall and I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a super quick and easy method for how to create bows out of your own hair. So I hope you guys are excited and let's get started. So I'm starting off with my hair already in these loose waves and if you guys are interested in how I usually do these loose waves, I already have a routine slash tutorial up so that's going to pop up on the right hand corner. I'm starting off with tying off my hair into two high pigtails and for the hair bows, it's not really anything new. A couple of you guys actually sent me this TikTok from Beauty of You and they did a really really cute back to school hairstyle using hair bows so I learned how to do it from this video but I tweaked their method to sort of create my own so taking about a one to two inch section of hair from the top, I'm tying a second elastic about three inches down. Then I'm creating a slit in the center and I'm taking the hair and I'm looping it underneath through and out the slit. Again, some slow-mo for good measure because this part is really important. You have to be sure to pull it underneath the slit through and out because if you do it the other direction, the bow is not going to form properly and it took me literally this entire video to figure it out. Then taking a hold of the elastic, you want to push it up underneath itself and it's going to naturally form a bow and you want to push the elastic underneath the bow so it's hidden. Then to secure the ribbon, I am just taking another elastic and I'm tying this underneath the bow and I'm tying this super tight so that it is secure. And then it is optional but recommended, but you can also use a little bit of hairspray to keep the bow in place and also shape it and push down the flyaways. And that is it for our first hairstyle with the combination of these soft ways, I think this creates such a ridiculously cute and charming hairstyle. And I think it's also really great because if you don't have a ton of accessories on hand, you can use your own hair to sort of create your own hair accessory. And there are a ton of different ways that you can utilize hair bows as an accessory and you can really dress it up and do a bunch of different hairstyles. Another way that I decided to wear this was with some braided pigtails and this in itself is a really cute hairstyle, but I chose to dress it up just a little bit with these tri-colored plaid ribbons and I'm just tying them off in three sections. So the idea behind this hairstyle is that the bows mimic the hair ribbon at the top of the pigtail and that is it for our second version of this hairstyle. Another really great thing about hair bows is that you can wear them literally anywhere on your hair and I'm going to show you guys a style that I created with a low side ponytail. So first I'm taking half an inch of hair on one side above my ear and I'm twisting it away from my face and with every two twists or so, I'm adding a tiny bit more hair and continuing to twist away from my face until I've used up all of the hair on this side of my head. Then I'm gently tugging on the twist on each side to create some volume and then I'm pulling it over to the other side to join it with the rest of my hair and I'm tying it off with an elastic. Then again, I'm using the same bow method to create a tiny little bow. Then to finish off this look, I am putting on this cream beret and I'm pushing it off to one side to finish the entire asymmetric look. And that is it for this hairstyle. And actually this ended up being my favorite hairstyle in this entire video just because it is so effortlessly romantic. I created this asymmetric hairstyle specifically to be worn with a beret because this is a fall video. So I wanted to make sure that you guys had something to be able to wear with berets. So that's it for our hair bows. The rest of these hairstyles are just very cottagecore inspired and very soft and romantic looking. This one is ridiculously easy to do. So I'm separating a section of hair from the top of my ear to the top of my head and I just want to make sure that this section of hair is facing towards the back as much as possible and I'm just doing a simple three strand braid. The important thing about this hairstyle is that as you're braiding you want to braid this towards the back of your head as much as possible. I'm braiding about halfway down and then I'm lightly tugging at each side of the braids to give it more volume. Then I'm securing it with an elastic and then I'm repeating on the other side. You can see how when I have my braids down, it creates a really nice look from the front because it's laying flat against our heads. Then from the back, I am taking our two braids and I'm joining them together and tying them off with an elastic.
And the final finishing touch is a ribbon. And I bought this light pink chiffon ribbon recently and I did this hairstyle specifically to use this ribbon because I thought it was super, super cute. And just tying off the ribbon at the end of this braided crown gives you so many options to change up this look and you can really play around with different colors and materials. You can really customize this hairstyle to suit any season and any outfit. For our next hairstyle, I thought to myself, what is the most messed up hairstyle that I could possibly do? So for this hairstyle, I'm going to be doing three small braided rope twist crowns. So taking a very small section of hair at my temple, I am twisting it away from my face. And again, with every couple of twists, I'm adding more hair and continuing to twist. Then I'm gently tugging on each side of the twist to give it more volume. And then I'm temporarily pinning it away with a bobby pin in the back while I work on the other side. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And when I'm done with that twist, I'm bringing them back together and joining them together with a clear elastic. Again, I'm going to repeat this exact same thing except with a section of hair right above my ear instead. And while we're doing this, I want to apologize for the super whack placement of my camera. I think I was like two hours into filming at this point and I don't think my brain was operating completely. So I wasn't even thinking of my camera. So at this point you can see it just clear right in the open this entire time. So yeah, I'm sorry for how sloppy that is. Then for our last rope twist, I'm just taking sections of hair from behind my ear. So with our three rope twist crowns, I'm letting them down and I'm tucking each section underneath the section below it just so that you have a really nice cascade of hair and so that you can clearly see all of the braided crowns. I know I went super extra with this. You honestly don't have to do three of them. It just has a really amazing outcome, but you can definitely do two or even just one if you don't have the time or the patience. But to accessorize, I actually created this hairstyle specifically to wear these three ribbons all at the same time. I just got these in the mail recently and I was so obsessed with how they looked together. I definitely needed to find a way to wear all of them at the same time. I am just securing them over the elastic to hide them and that is it for this hairstyle. Definitely one of the more extra hairstyles that I've ever done. Like does she really need to be wearing three barrettes in her hair? No she doesn't, but is she? Yes. Although this hairstyle is a little bit more time consuming, it looks deceivingly complicated, but it's actually super easy to do because it just comes down to very simple basics. And with this triple cascade of bow barrettes, I think that it creates a very romantic, very charming, and also a really unique looking hairstyle. So for our last hairstyle, I'm not really showing you guys anything new. It's more of an idea of how to wear your hair in the fall. One of my favorite hair accessories to wear when it's cold is actually these knit bonnets. And it has a really cute little scalloped edge and some long ties so that you can tie them into a bow underneath your chin. I think it just creates a really cute doll-like look while keeping you warm and your ears cozy. And I also got these pearl heart clips and I was dying to use these and I thought it would be a really cute way to accessorize my bonnet by just inserting these on each side of my head but to have them peeking out slightly so you can see them from underneath the bonnet. So that is it for this idea. I just think that wearing a knit bonnet with some cute decorative barrettes peeking out is such a look for the fall and I hope that people get in on it. So that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed these hairstyles for the fall. I hope you guys are able to utilize my bow method. I really, really love it and really appreciate it when you guys recreate my hairstyles and tag me on Instagram because it just makes me happy to see that someone is actually using my tutorials and that they actually really like my stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and a big, big thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. And as always, I will see you guys again next week.